Imagine a world nearly 5 million years before your own. A landscape untamed, teeming with dangers, yet ripe with the nascent stirrings of what would one day become humanity. This was the stage for our earliest ancestors, the hominids of the Pliocene epoch, navigating an existence far removed from anything we know today. Their survival was a relentless pursuit, a daily dance with hunger, thirst, and formidable predators. But what sustained them? What was the fuel that powered their incredible journey of adaptation and evolution? At approximately 4.8 million years ago, the African continent was a vibrant, dynamic mosaic of environments. Dense, humid forests gradually gave way to more open woodlands, which in turn transitioned into nascent grasslands, shaped by shifting climates and geological forces. It was within this ever-changing, challenging landscape that species like Australopithecus anamensis, one of the earliest known hominids, began to forge a path distinct from their primate relatives. Unlike the later, more advanced toolmakers, these early ancestors relied on an intricate blend of ingenuity, acute observation, and an intimate, almost instinctual knowledge of their surroundings to secure their next meal. Their very existence was a testament to their resourcefulness. The primary answer to their survival diet lies in the abundant plant life of their environment. These early hominids were primarily foragers, their days spent meticulously searching for sustenance across vast territories. Their diet consisted heavily of a wide variety of fruits, from wild figs to berries, as well as tender leaves, starchy tubers, and nutrient-rich nuts. They drew essential energy from the diverse flora of the East African Rift Valley, a region known for its rich biodiversity. Evidence gleaned from fossilized teeth, particularly their thick enamel and broad, robust grinding surfaces, points unequivocally to a diet rich in fibrous plant material. This dental architecture was perfectly adapted for processing tough, abrasive vegetation that might have been inaccessible or indigestible to other species. This reliance on plant matter meant a constant, often arduous, search for edible vegetation, a task that undoubtedly shaped their daily movements, their migratory patterns, and even the very social structures within their small, nascent groups. They were intimately connected to the rhythms of the seasons and the availability of plant resources. Yet, survival often demanded more than just plants. While the organized hunting of large game was far beyond their capabilities, opportunistic scavenging offered a crucial, if incredibly dangerous, source of high-energy nutrients. Following the kills of formidable apex predators like the fearsome saber-toothed cats, the powerful hyenodons, or the swift wild dogs of the Pliocene, these early hominids would have seized fleeting opportunities to access nutrient-rich bone marrow or leftover muscle tissue. This was not a casual endeavor, it was a high-stakes gamble, often requiring them to compete with other larger scavengers for precious scraps. It is highly plausible they used the simplest of tools, unmodified stones, perhaps found lying on the ground, to crack open bones, a rudimentary yet revolutionary step in accessing vital resources that were otherwise locked away. Furthermore, insects, readily available and packed with protein, also likely supplemented their plant-based meals, providing a consistent and easily obtainable source of essential amino acids and fats. This diverse dietary strategy was a hallmark of their adaptability. This varied, opportunistic diet was not merely about sustenance, it was a powerful engine of evolution, driving profound changes in their biology and behavior. The increased caloric intake, particularly from the fats and proteins found in scavenged meat and insects, provided the essential building blocks for significant brain development. This was a critical transformative step on the path to the larger, more complex brains that would define later human species. The brain, being an incredibly energy-intensive organ, directly benefited from this richer diet, allowing for greater cognitive capacity and problem-solving abilities. The demands of a diverse diet also spurred remarkable physical adaptations. Changes in dental structure, from slightly sharper canines to even more robust molars, directly reflect the shift towards processing a wider range of foods, both plant and animal. 
Over time, their digestive systems also likely adapted to better process these new food sources, becoming more efficient at nutrient absorption. Furthermore, bipedalism, already a defining trait that set them apart from other primates, would have been further advantageous in this evolving dietary context. Walking upright allowed for more efficient long-distance foraging across varied terrains, enabling them to cover greater distances in search of dispersed food sources with less energy expenditure. Crucially, it freed the hands to carry gathered food back to a safe location, or to transport simple tools, or even to carry their offspring, enhancing their survival prospects. It also provided a better vantage point for spotting both distant food sources, such as fruit trees, and potential predators in the increasingly open landscapes. The ability to carry food meant resources could be shared more easily within their groups, potentially fostering early forms of cooperation and social bonding. This sharing of resources, particularly high-value items like scavenged meat, would have laid the groundwork for more complex social behaviors and the development of communal living, strengthening the ties within their small, vulnerable communities. From these humble yet incredibly resourceful beginnings, a diet shaped by necessity and opportunity laid the groundwork for the extraordinary journey of human evolution. The survival diet of our ancestors nearly five million years ago wasn't just about filling their stomachs, it was the foundational blueprint upon which our intelligence, our remarkable adaptability, and ultimately, our very humanity was built. It reminds us that every bite our ancestors took was a step forward, a testament to their resilience in a world that demanded constant innovation and profound adaptation for survival. Their dietary choices, driven by the harsh realities of their environment, were the silent architects of our species.